Now someone can tell you. Hallelujah, somebody. We need to work together as a team. Work together, my ministerial board, as a team. So anytime the devil comes, we know how to recognize the devil. You can't be a minister and recognize the devil. You must recognize him when he comes. Hallelujah, somebody. And let him know that you are under my feet. You are under my feet. I am not going to give you the chance to.
but there was a shift in the tide. Somebody praise the Lord. The moment the woman of God touched my eyes and said, you're going to open my eyes to something else. And I start to see things. It's like I, I, I've been plugged back in into a, a, a divine power. We praise the Lord. But the, the, the first thing when I, I, I get anointed, I run inside and I take some of the eye and I touch my son. I always try to cover my kids whensoever the man or the woman of God touch me. I don't want really to take things simple, virgin. If you go home, if you get anointed here, if you get touched here, when you go home, take the eye, put it over your kids. Ask God to cover your kids, cover your family, cover your house, cover your neighbor, cover your friends. Don't take it simple. This is a powerful ministry. And as I reach home, I make sure I take it and I touch my son. And I said, cover him, Jesus. Wherever he go. What I'm talking about, um, the touch on my eyes. And I started dreaming things. But I didn't understand. And I got a dream. I'm not going to get into it because the man of God is waiting. I got a dream. And I was telling my girlfriend about it at the time. And she's saying that she doesn't understand it. But it, it was dead. And practically the next morning, somebody called me and said, you know that um, a friend of ours died. He was a, um, a young man who worked on the program and he stayed inside the same house. And Reggie, we know that everybody can be. But when somebody close to the past and you actually see it, when you sit down and you say, what? We see money. We dream in the seat, but we never know. So I'm just gonna pray and ask God for, for some more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But each time I close my eyes like this, I see something. So no one did I just close my eyes for no reason. I just look around. Because I know there is something. I have it hard to come here this morning to be it. I put on my clothes, I feel lucky, the place up. I try to come out, I try to come out, I try to come out, just put on the tools. I said, listen, I'm coming to church because there is something here. God bless you. We're going to praise God from the depths of our heart. Hallelujah. We're going to praise God like God has done something marvelous for us. We're going to praise God like he prepares something for us. We're going to praise God like there's a breakthrough tomorrow morning.
Amen. He is our King. Oh, praise God. Amen. And we bow before Him and worship His holy name. Praise God. And while I was sitting here before I get to the message, Amen. Let me greet God, which is the head of my life. Amen. To our Metropolitan Primary Chief Apostle. Dr. Ray and Tony Foster. Come on, put your hands together for the man of God today. Amen. We greet him and we all know where he is. So he's not lost. No. Or he's not run away. No. Praise God. Hallelujah, somebody. And we are giving God thanks. Amen. That amen. Our wings are extended. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. So nobody don't need to tear on anybody or fight anybody because we all have a purpose for God. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise God. Amen. I must greet, amen, my prophetess. Amen. Both prophetess in the house, prophetess Campbell, prophetess Tindin. Praise God. Our canon. Praise God. Amen. Our elder, praise the Lord. Amen. Our minister, amen. Our pastor, amen. Our evangelist team, praise God. Amen. Our deacon and deaconess. Put your hands together for the deacon and deaconess. Praise God. We're in our harvest service today. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And we're giving God thanks for them today. Amen. Praise God. Our event, our missionary department. Praise God. Our mothers and ushers. Praise God. You department. Put your hand together for the little children today. Oh, praise God. Amen. Down to the little children. Bringing in something to the table. That's right. Hallelujah, somebody. And Jesus promised us that he can use a little child to lead the way. To lead the way. So he don't have to choose anybody big. Or no. even if you are over-educated, praise not. God. Hallelujah. And that's why I love God so much because yes. he don't look at the oh. outward appearance. Oh. And he don't examine that because I'm faster or I'm close to the apostle, praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. He examine the heart. Yes, Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and praise God today. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And while I was sitting there, the Lord gave me a word. Praise God. For Deaconess Honigan. And I'm going to give her. Praise God. Stand Deaconess Honigan. Praise God. And while I was sitting here, the Lord was reminding me when my grandfather was sick unto death. Sick unto death. My mother called me and said, I have to come over to the hospital. And you know, death is, is such a touching thing yeah. when you come to your doorway. Yes. It's yes. not an easy thing. Hallelujah. And Bridget, I remember when I go to the hospital, when I go to the hospital, they couldn't let me in because my auntie was around there. So, I have to wait. And they said that they're not taking any more person to, to see him because they have to bring him wrong. And I begged them, I called my mother, I said, listen, I have to see him. I begged them, please. And when I go, they were almost about to push him to go around. And he was. <laughs> and I hold on to his hand. And I said, Daddy. I said, Daddy. He said, kill me in this. Hallelujah. And when I squeezed his hand, and I asked the nurse, you know, to pay attention to him for me, please. And preaching, I get a little chance to pray a prayer. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. The Bible said, the prayer of a righteous man. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah, somebody. And I wonder if somebody knows how powerful prayer is. Because prayer can change the circumstances. Prayer can make a difference. If you only believe, because not everybody you see are a believer. 
Hallelujah. And I, and, I, and, I, and I kept it praying and said, God, because this is what happened. My son resembled my grandfather a lot. I bred him. I never get a chance to really bring him to my grandfather to make him see. And then we start feeling oh! my and before he got sick, he asked me to bring the son come. Make him see. And he said, My God. I'm a prayer. And he said, Jesus, I am begging you one chance. One chance I am begging you. He said, God, please, for my sake, give him another chance. One more chance, God. Hallelujah. I pray, him, I pray and they move with him and take him around. And he was in a bad condition. Bad condition. And they take him around. I'm preaching when I pray. In the space of about two weeks. Mighty God. They deliver him from the hospital. And send him home back. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. And when they send him home back, preaching, and he's, he was not eating at all. And when he come home back, he start to eat. And eat more than how he, he, he used to eat before he was sick. And Bridget, after he started to eat, he started to give him back his strength. And you know, he, they would have to lift him up for him to move. And when he come back, he started to walk on his own. And he started to move around on his own. And I said, thank you, Jesus. And right there, when I sit there, weakness, honey gun. I want you to apply your faith and we're going to apply our faith. Because this is a faith ministry. And we're going to apply the faith because guess what happened? We know what is going to happen to you if things have, don't go the way you want it. Hallelujah, somebody. Pressure no one easy something now. Pressure no one burn no one easy something and carry something now. You know, easy. But we're going to trust God and we're going to believe. And we are praying God for you. We are praying to strengthen you. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. And we're going to believe in God. Amen. We're going to join our faith with your faith. And we're going to trust God today. It isn't anything too hard for God to do. We're going to pray that God is going to release our troubled mind. So I said, shut your hands to us right now. This is not about your time and season now. But you're going to pray her strength. You're going to pray. Pray for her. You're going to pray. Pray because you don't know when it's your time. You don't know when it's your time to go to your struggle, to your period. You don't know. But we're going to trust God and ask God for his mercy upon her. In the name of Jesus, right now, God, we send legions of angels. We send wrestling given, fighting, and coaster. We send them, Jesus, that you will comfort her heart. You will give her strength, Lord Jesus. You say, when I see the blood. Hallelujah. Prophetess Gabriel, can we just get somebody by and touch her? In the name of Jesus. We cover you right now. We strengthen every part of your body right now. Every nerve we apply the blood of Jesus. We fight in the spirit race. And let the devil know that he's a liar. Jesus said, I come to give you life. And give it more abundantly. Oh, praise God. We trust God today. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, put your hands together for God today. Oh, praise God today. Please turn your Bible to the book of First Corinthians chapter 4. Praise God and we sign it in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
May the Lord have his blessing upon his word. Praise God. And if you come today with a mind made up to receive something from God. I don't know what you came for. Hallelujah, somebody. But I trust that you came because you want something from God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And my topic to you today is be faithful to God and he will reward you in due time. Hallelujah, somebody. Touch your neighbor beside you and say, neighbor, if you be faithful to God, he will be faithful to you. Come on, touch somebody else and say, neighbor, if you trust God, he will come true for you. In the name of Jesus. First Corinthians 4, amen, we sign it in Jesus' name. Let no man consider us as a servant of Christ and steward of the ministry of God. Moreover, it is required in steward that one be found faithful. But with me, it is very small things that I should be judged by you or by a human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself. Hallelujah. Verse 4. For I know of nothing against myself. Yet I am not justified by this. Amen, amen. But he who judge me is the Lord. Oh, Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise God. And we are on the topic, be faithful to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And Paul was reminding the church, praise God, that it's very important that when we accept Jesus, we know who we are in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And he taught us that if you love me, you keep my commandments. Amen. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. And when I look up the meaning of faithful, it is loyal, stand fast, firm, committed, I can depend on you. I can trust you. That whenever I give you an assignment, I don't have to keep watching over you. Because I believe in God. Hallelujah, somebody. That he is able to carry you through. Now we have to understand that it is not easy when you try to do good and that evil will present himself. And we know that the devil mission is to stop us. Hallelujah. Minister, the devil mission is not to get you out of the house. Because he don't Rise up in our way. 
It doesn't mean that we must get weary or we must give up too easy. Hallelujah, somebody. You can't just give up because you are tested. Hallelujah, somebody. To every test, there is a reward. To everything you've been through, there is a breakthrough. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm going to give the church a testimony. And I want you to listen. I was living in an apartment. And I have one single vehicle that I was renting. Yes. One single vehicle that I was renting. And it was a convention over there in Prospect. And somebody gave me a rental. And I, the car rent out that is supposed to come back the Sunday morning. So I'm supposed to go to Prospect and preach. So I get myself ready, have my clothes on, and was waiting for the car. To come in. So I could drive to church. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. And while I was there calling, and there was no answer for over hour, and I said, God, what is this? And finally, the gentleman answered the phone, and he said to me, I was not called back the phone because I'm not getting back the car. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Can you imagine that you build yourself up, hallelujah, to deliver the word of God and right in the midst, hallelujah, the devil rise up and show himself up. Oh, praise the Lord. But you got to understand that you can't let the devil get you down too easy. You got to be rooted and grounded. You got to get a ready mind. So I reckon The 
trouble and the problem is a hindrance and that's why when the problem comes don't see the problem but see God delivering you out of the problem see God work hallelujah somebody see God come in your behalf and see God take you up you are lonely connected you belong to the family of you but no say no 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 I am highly I belong to the family hallelujah somebody hallelujah somebody hallelujah somebody so the ones in the nights of the market watch your color change oh praise God there is a breakthrough it is coming and it depended upon you oh praise God if you want it you will get it hallelujah so Paul said I must remind the church Paul was one of the most radical preachers in the Bible hallelujah and when he preached, he preached, thus said the Lord and he don't preach will compromising or looking to any fears hallelujah somebody come when the spirit give you something you can't change it because of somebody you have to speak thus said the Lord you have to speak it hallelujah so I understand when God is working in your behalf and he start to do some supernatural things have somebody look at you and said you are no good you're not gonna become something hallelujah somebody hallelujah somebody hallelujah somebody have someone ever look at you and said guess what I, I wish you come down have someone ever look at you and say every day you come to church you're in spirit but them themselves not doing better be careful and you want them because some people want that good mouth they want poison so you have to put down the blood of Jesus put down the holy armor and the press lift put down the righteousness Sin is a reproach unto every man, but righteousness exalt a nation. Let me tell you something. When somebody is coming with you, and that's why you realize they can't keep the man of God down. They can't keep the man of God down because the man is coming with righteousness. Hallelujah, somebody. And that we want. We want to hear. Come, my little children. Come in, my little children. We don't want to hear depart from me. I know you're not. We want to hear come in. Hallelujah. So watch this. Job was going through. Going through a rough time. Yes. This is when things are so smooth in your life. You'll have no complaint. You can't find money to buy food. You pick them up at school. Your bills them up here. And you think you're untouchable. That is the time you need to start praying. You need to start praying to God. Because something is coming. Cut it down.
and I see the prophecy come to a pass. So I can't let you make me doubt God. I can't let you make me look back by my God and how God is doing, how God is working. Because some people, they don't like me and God of this here now. No, let me tell you something. Admire it yes. so much. Yes. 
when God upgrades a true woman of God in your life. Yes, yes. I want every church to hear what I'm saying. When God plays somebody in your life, when you busy out there, they're supposed to be praying. Because the devil wants to get rid of you. He wants to get you down. But when we come together, when we pray together, the Bible says it finally that pray together. He can stand together. And so it is when we come together, we I have somebody when I pray for me. You need somebody to pray for you. You need somebody to pass with you. You need somebody to lift you up. Somebody that will take you to the next level. You are one can we. The apostle alone can we. That's why God we. Thanks be to God. You see, 
secret hearts. Once we move on from a brothers and sister that never seen in people condemn me. Because some people that love condemn. Sometimes I have to watch them bishop girl examine them because they all
I want to be like a pastor, but you can't live like a pastor. So how are you going to get the mighty position? When somebody just tear you down and toss you out like a dog, and you still have to pray for them. You still have to love them. You still have to unite them. Hallelujah, somebody. You have to put their little feelings in your side. Her feelings are on church. A holy ghost on church. And if you know a holy ghost, you're going to fight for me. You're going to box me. You're going to fight for me. You're going to fight for me. Hallelujah. So you have to get your spirit right. Straighten your inner man, which is your holy ghost. The inner man wrestles with the flesh. And the reason why the devil overtakes some people because they strengthen flesh by chat people, don't greet people, tear them people more than they pray for them. So what you expect say? God has a word for you. Not them the condition. They are working on the condition. I remember Bishop Carr. When the apostle said to me, he said, Listen, tell Bishop Carr, I don't want him to do no other work. God, God show me that in the care rental, he might not achieve anything when God. And when we look and see how God just, long time you know, Bishop Carr, you know, man. But when we see how God just rise him up. Yes. If you know how good heart, you can't feel good feet. And I got to defeat the church. Because everything we want to do is said. And when God gives somebody, we don't feel good for them. Because your heart is alive. If you can't get it, then your heart is alive. Your heart can't receive it. You don't have the condition. I worked alongside with the apostle for how much years. And I never one day let grudge me come up in my heart. I want that to reach me. We oh. say too much. We them a yaya. We hear too much. Too much. Too much. We gonna make it never get me. You not gonna get me. Hallelujah, somebody. So today, what you come for? God said, I'm about to release it for you. In the name of Jesus. God, I'm about to release everything. Everything you pray to God for. Everything you talk to God. You put your circumstances before God. God said to tell you right now, I am about to to make intercession. I am about to to release legions of angels that will come to your rescue. He's coming. He's coming. Whatever your condition is, God is coming. Hallelujah, somebody. Whatever your dog going, he's coming. Whatever your situation, he is coming. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody lift your hand and praise God. He is coming true for you. In the name of Jesus. God is coming true. And if your heart is right, in seven days time, your deliverance is coming. Your breakthrough in some, 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 some is a perfect number. And God said to tell you, in seven, Rocco Shakarat, in seven, Yako said, in seven, yes, Jesus, I know it's coming true. In the name of Jesus. It is coming. Hallelujah. I thank God for each and every one of you that come today. Hallelujah, somebody. Because you know what? The devil did not rub your jaw today. The devil did not rub your jaw. Oh, praise God. Because when you go home, you're going to feel good in God. Because you are in the house of God. And God speaks a word. And it's fair. And good ground. Oh, praise God. And when it's fair and good ground, the increase is sure. The increase is sure. Oh, praise God. The increase is coming. It is coming. It is coming. Listen, 